Hello, I just got a quick video here. I just wanted to talk about the latest update of the village and pillage update for the bedrock edition of Minecraft, that being 1.11.0. Yes, this has brought some very unusual things to the table. This being mob spawners now work <laughs> in any light. I don't know if this is a bug or not. Um, but obviously I do play on my snail craft and I have just recently been playing with spawners and uh, yes, uh, zombies will spawn <laughs> in any kind of light right now, which is not very good. I mean, it's not too bad for snail craft, but yeah, as you've just seen, honestly, I am not, I haven't edited anything. This is a legit thing. I probably think this is a bug, I would say. Possibly I need to go and report this, unless somebody has a ready, I don't know. But yes, watch out, your spawners will still active, be active, even though you've touched everything up, okay? So that is number one of uh, randomness, okay? So the next thing is the Ravenger. Now this little fella, well it's quite big actually, I was pretty, you know, intimidated by it. I was like, whoa, this thing is pretty OP. It's pretty powerful. It looks like it. Guys, it's the most biggest joke in the game. Uh, one, all you need to do is make some sort of trap like this, and you can just go in there and beat the hell out of it. Two, it can't get through a two wide gap. So, yeah, you can also do it like this. So I could, like, lure him over here, look. Oh, obviously... Hang on, this might be better if I explain this in survivals to show you. So, yeah, I can just lure him. Look at this. What is this AI? <laughs> uh, yeah, they. I feel like they need a bit more work. They're not very clever. So as you can see, look, I, can just, I can just stand here and pretty much just spam. I mean, really? But what's pretty interesting is the actual shield. Now, you can actually block all 100% attacks on this thing with your shield. <laughs> Which is absolutely insane. Now, this shield is so cheap to make. I don't really understand this. I think this needs a bit of work. To me, anyway. I don't know. I just, I'm not intimidated by these fellas anymore. They are the worst mob in the game, in my opinion. Like... What was that? He just spat something at me? Was that right? But look, he's dead. I mean, I am using a diamond sword, but it's nothing crazy. That fella just stuck in the corner. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just a pro Minecrafter. I don't know. But to be honest, I'm pretty disappointed with them. I thought they were crazy strong, like charging bull things, but they really aren't. They're just a buggy block walking around. <laughs> pretty much anyway so i'm gonna help into well we're in capitals but it doesn't really matter uh game mode c quickly and let's hit caps locks and yeah i just want to grab this little sword and some pillagers now from practicing some raids and stuff i've been playing around obviously um pillagers okay when you spawn it in it will never ever spawn in the one with a banner which is quite strange i've tried so many different times it doesn't work, okay? So if you want to actually get a raid activated, like a fake one, basically, we need to just add up the effect. But also I want to know, these pillagers have different loot tables. So like the state they're in now, they're in pillager state. But when they're in a raid state, they actually have um, like different drops. Like they'll drop emeralds, they'll drop iron armor, iron tools. I'll explain more in a minute, I'll show you. So I'll just quickly kill all these. So I've actually got looting free, as you can see. And yeah, what I'm getting is arrows and crossbows, basically. I won't get anything else, okay? So if I get out of here, and I am gonna just do that, and that, and just do a slash clearer quickly. There we go. And what I need to do now is give myself the effect uh, at S, the bad omen, sorry. Sorry, I was having a bit of a moment there. So whenever you get this, it's always, well, normally when you kill the pillager, like the one with the banner, you get 99 minutes. So yeah, this actually is another thing which is a bit frustrating for me <laughs> to understand. That counts as a village. 
I mean, we got a smoker, we got a bed, we got a couple of bows. The reason I got these couple of bows is, I know the effect's going to run out, don't worry, is because I wanted to show you. Bows only work when there's two bits like this. So, look, I can't, whoops, I should have explained that better. In survival, possibly, so let me just show you. Uh, game mode S. So, I can't actually ring this. What I can do is break it, okay? See? But this one, I can ring. That's because it's like this. So whenever they're like that, if you see one like that, just break it and change it to that. Okay? So yeah, this actually counts as a village, believe it or not. So if I just do a quick summon of a villager, he should actually get converted. Wait, what one is that? I've never seen that one. A cleric. There we go. He's got converted into a butcher because they use the smoker, basically. And then it should get particles come out of that as well, but possibly I didn't see that. I don't know. But yeah, that is a pretty much a village right now. <laughs> Believe it or not. I mean, is he actually using that thing? I don't know. Whatever. But that, to me, is a bit weird. I don't understand how that can be counted as a village, but hey-ho, whatever. So we're going to give ourselves the effect of the bad omen right now. So as you can see, as it's a village, we're going to get a ring. And the bells are ringing. This one does ring, but yeah, uh... You can't ring it yourself. It's a bit weird. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, I should get a load of villager dudes coming. There we go, over there, look. But these guys will actually drop different stuff. So they might actually destroy me. So I might have to go in game mode uh, S here. Uh, C, sorry. Game mode C. There we go. So you watch. I should get emeralds now. And iron, like, armor. This is very unusual. Now, I think they dropped this stuff because it's obviously to help you with, um, you know, surviving a raid kind of thing. So, like, where the hell did this axe come from? This is what I don't understand. It's almost like they've got the loot table of a pillager and a vindicator to me. That's what it seems like. Um, but also, I want to know as well, once this raid actually activates, if you want to stop a raid at any time, what you need to do is break the bells. So, as you can see, they spawned in. They've got a little Vindicator dude now. So, if I break that and break that, and then it should do this magic. And then you need to kill your little friend, and then he's dead. Now we got the bad omen, and now you're probably thinking, what? How are you supposed to get rid of that? Well, you just drink some milk, right? But this is could be quite a good system for a farm, really, if you've got a load of spare villagers. Um... Because these dudes do drop a lot of emeralds and cool stuff. So possibly you could just sit here, grind that out, you know, make yourself a bit more protected. Obviously, this is just a quick demonstration sort of thing. But you get my kind of drift. And yeah, you could probably make some sort of crazy farm. But like I say, you get a lot of stuff. I mean, this is looting free. I mean, it is, you know, the max enchant. But you will get so many emeralds for this. I, d I don't know about these raid things. I like the idea. I think it's really cool. But seriously op considering a volker spawn as well um but anyway a couple of other random things so i'm just gonna do slash kill here um to kill that and i don't really need all this stuff anymore so i'm gonna get rid of that so like i say to get rid of the uh bad omen effect you can just drink some milk but yes i found a bug <laughs> no sound comes out when you drink milk Um, okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's true for uh, potions. Let's just quickly try. Uh, so let's just get an invisibility one. Yeah. All potion sounds are gone. Oh, look, there's a new uh, potion icon. Invisibility. <laughs> cool. Anyway, that's that. Wandering Trader. Now, this fella, I like this little idea. I think this is brilliant. But sometimes he actually spawns in as a nitwit. So you cannot trade with him. Like this one, I can trade. We gotta, we gotta find him. So bear with me. This one I can trade. I might have to just get a few of these down so it's a bit quicker. We can trade with him. 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 Oh, he's gonna do it because I'm recording, right? <laughs> So, I don't know what must have happened then. I've spawned in hundreds of these wandering traders, and they all can trade. I'm, I don't know what happened. Maybe sometimes they just don't like to trade. 
But I've also noticed they don't make any sounds, neither. Normally on the um, Java edition, they make uh, like funny sounds. I know, I know of it because it's quite unique. But yeah, you, they don't do anything, basically. But when you hit them, they sound like when you get hit. It's quite strange. And lastly, we got a little bug that's been in it for a while now. And this is a, a lantern and it's called a sea lantern in game. Now, I think this is to do with the text files in the resource packs of the bog standard vanilla Minecraft. But I think it's just for great British players. <laughs> I could be wrong, though. It might be for US as well. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'm playing on Great British. So UK. Um, lastly, I want to just talk about what I really like about this update. And this is my new favourite little thing. <laughs> I am absolutely in love with this, and I think it's so cool. This is the barrel. I absolutely love this thing, and I just want to show you, you can use any type of wood, even though it looks like it's spruce, okay? So what's pretty cool about this is, yes, you can put items in it, and they get filtered through with hoppers, and you see how cheap that was to make. Six sticks, two slabs. I mean, it's cheaper than a chest, right? I know you can, you know, mix them together, but they will kind of be the same sort of size if you think about it. But what's pretty cool, I can actually open that still, and there's a block above it, which, you know, isn't transparent. But a chest, I can. not And obviously, if I chuck in all this leather I've got from killing the llamas, yeah, it gets filtered through, and that is pretty cool. But what is pretty cool as well, and I like this as well, is actually it emits a signal, which is pretty cool. And I think the back of it looks lovely as well as like a texture, possibly for building. Look, hang on, if I do something like this. I think that looks pretty cool, right? I don't know, maybe it's just me. <laughs> also that as well, if you think about it, you could you could pull off some pretty cool little, little things here. But it's such a cheap block, much better than the chest, I think, personally. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end it there. It's a bit of a strange video, I know, but... I just wanted to get that out there about the, the spawner, really. That's the main reason of this video, because that is quite strange. Uh, I'm probably going to have to go to the bug reports and do that, or have a look if there is one already. But yeah, uh, maybe you learned something new about the raids and stuff. And yeah, I'm Darren Ross Probs. Thanks very much for watching. Bye!